Hey everybody, it's Mark from G's Bees, and I am going to show you how I assemble frames. So I got this frame jig, um, actually I built it. Uh, you can go out on the interwebs, find out uh, plans. All the major bee manufacturers have them. I'm gonna tell you, even if you do two boxes, it is worth it. Uh, it's just got a, a board that slides in that keeps these little uh, side pieces standing up. Um, as you can see, there's two sides, that's the bottom. And then the top is here. I always put them with the big thick side down. What it does is it keeps them from rocking in there. Um, and it's real simple. What I what I like to use, I use a tight bond three glue. Um, you can dip it in there like this, but if you're doing a whole bunch of them, it's best to get a little system up, get a foam paint brush, just put a little bit of glue in there. Remember, you're not killing it with kindness because uh, we are. I, I grew and staple. Uh, I just think it's better. I mean, remember all the time and effort you spend now, it's gonna make all the difference in the world when you're trying to pull out a frame and it's full of propolis or you're extracting them and the frame falls apart. So take your time now. Um, I don't uh, hand nail them. Uh, I guess I could. I would highly recommend getting a little nail gun and an air compressor. Uh, if you know, if you don't have space or don't have the extra use for it, I mean, I had one anyway, so it didn't matter. Um, I, I understand you got to hand nail them. It just takes a little more time. Get a little tap nail uh, nailer. So you glue everything up, kind of line them up here. Not really exciting. Habit I do is just do one side, then the next, kind of get them started, and then I'm gonna tack them down. Pop them with a with a, with a uh, a nail gun. Uh, they, whoever they are, say use an inch and a quarter. Uh, I have a, a one inch staples. I like the staples because you get two for one. Um, and you got the little curved part which holds things in there. Uh, if you've got nails, use nails. I mean, how did they do it 100 years ago? They used it with nails. Nothing wrong with old school. Got flush. Good quality frames, uh, you won't have uh, a lot of slop, a lot of tolerance uh, issues. They will always be square. Uh, I have used some that were made by, uh, I don't know who, but they were absolutely horrible. They were everything but square. Um, tap down like this. Make sure they're Good to go. Nail gun. Here are the staples that I use. So the cool thing about this, um, I always try to wipe down because there's always going to be a little extra glue. The nice thing about this frame jig is that when you flip it over, everything's going to stay in there. You can see it's got the two rails right there, so you just flip it over. And sometimes if you don't flip them over correctly, they will fall out. Still a heck of a lot easier than doing it by, by nailing by hand. I promise you, been there, done that. Yeah, there's there's plans all over the place for these uh, these these jigs, so it's just it's just worth the money to um, have them done. Try it again. Video, want to be a Hollywood star? What happens? 
I don't know. I've done 400 of these things and never had an issue. All right, now we're back in business. Same thing. Go and glue it up. Make sure you get the top and the bottom. That's why I kind of like these little paint brushes. You can just kind of hit them real good and go right on down the line. It's cool. I mean, I like doing this in the in the winter. Um, I mean, this is what you do to get ready for your spring season. Um, it's it's you know you get a couple swarms or so you want to make some splits and you have the equipment. Um, it's it's just frustrating. So you know, be prepared. Take care of your woodenware. Uh, I mean, I've scraped all my old stuff and winterized it, if you will. So I'm planning on doing some expansions this year. So yeah, winter winter time is usually our slow time for for keeping bees. You know, it's uh, we just got about five or six inches of snow here in Virginia yesterday, and uh, but you're always thinking about your bees. I just want to make sure they're warm. I know they have plenty of honey, and uh, put some uh, sugar out for them. But actually, uh, I made sugar patties. For so this is not very glamorous, but I can tell you when you get them all done, they're lined up, and then when you need your equipment, you know where it came from, you know who built it. You know it's put together right. See this jig it makes it so simple same thing grab a nail gun it so however long this video was um, minus the uh, upside down thing you just slide these things out pull them out let's say do 10 frames